During or after a regional or natural disaster, home security will be your responsibility. While many homeowners may be prepared to defend their home, reducing the risk of a potential home invader targeting your home is far more valuable. In this video, we'll look at five things you can do to ensure you and your loved ones are safe within your home. Thanks to Simply Safe Home Security Systems for sponsoring this video. Simply Safe is easy to install under an hour, reliable home security that will ensure you and your loved ones are protected. Just stick the sensors exactly where you need them. From there, your home is professionally monitored 24 seven. If anything happens, they'll make sure the police get called. They've got sensors that cover every window, room, and door, plus an assortment of great extras like water sensors, temperature sensors, and HD cameras. It's all really easy to use and you get around the clock protection for about 50 cents a day with no contracts. They've even won US News and World Report's best overall home security of 2020. Enjoy the video. In this video, we'll look at five critical considerations and how you might protect yourself and insulate yourself should police services not be available to you, such as during a regional or natural disaster. We'll start with the general options for technology surveillance and move to the additional layers you need to add to maximize your security. Reviewing your home and personal security now could be a lifesaver in the future. Number one, layer one, instant security. In these troubling times or during or after a disaster when seconds matter, the police may be many minutes away or unavailable at all. While an intruder trying to enter your bedroom window is an immediate threat and high priority to you and your loved ones, the police may be tied up for another multiple pressing issues and simply cannot get to you. That, unfortunately for you, is gonna put you squarely in the position of having to defend your home. Thanks to advances in technology and manufacturing, there are several out of the box solutions that can provide you with an early alert, deterrence, and defense capabilities that will both alert you of an intruder and deter the would be assailant. All the personal security in the world won't do you a bit of good if you're completely relying upon your ears to hear a window being raised from the outside across your home or apartment. And the reality is, is that you have to eventually sleep. You can't be on 24 seven standby to monitor your home. That's why I recommend the first layer of security to your home be a home security system with the right mix of components to give you an early alert and defensive advantage. For my home, I chose a combination of cameras, window, door, and motion sensors, glass break sensors, and a home base that stays connected with the devices that will alert authorities on my behalf, even if I'm not able to do so. During regular non-emergency times, for me, having the peace of mind that the police will be alerted quickly if an intruder tries to break in comes in handy. There is even a panic button that gives you the jump on would-be intruders. I recently installed the Simply Safe systems because they did not require a phone line. They can operate even if the power goes down or is cut. When looking at home security systems, I went with this particular setup as I didn't want to get locked into a lengthy and expensive monthly contract, which is how most of the home security systems on the market mostly make their money. Additionally, I don't want someone I don't personally know in my house installing my system. I wanted a system that was easy to set up and didn't require me to cut holes in the wall and I could personally handle it. I also wanted sensors that were small enough to go unnoticed, but yet would do the job correctly. I currently have the home base, smart locks, security cameras, carbon monoxide detectors, door and window sensors, and motion detectors installed to ensure we're covering all the potential vulnerabilities for our house. Whatever system you end up going with, be sure you don't get tied into an expensive contract and one that can work independently of your power getting shut down. Number two, DAD. When thinking about home security, remember this acronym, deter, alert, defend, DAD. Just as you might've called your mom when you had skinned your knee, but when you were really, really frightened or hurt, you probably called for the big guns, dad. I'm not diminishing the role of mama bear here, but for our purposes though, remember the acronym DAD. DAD. The elements of your home security fall into one of these categories, deter, alert, and defend. Security systems are to deter criminals from invading your space. They alert you that an invasion of your space is occurring, or they defend you and repulse the invaders. Often one item will have more than one purpose. In the category of deter, you have lighting, alarm systems, home alert systems, strong visual and defensible lines from your property, strong locks, concealed valuables, signage and obstructed views into your house. All of these combined will deter most criminals as criminals tend to gravitate to the easiest target with the least difficulty and the highest probability of getting away with the crime. Under alert, you also have alarm systems, both elaborate and simple. Modern technology has taken once pricey systems and made them incredibly affordable for large houses or small apartments. Knowing your home has been breached before you get home or while you are sleeping or away is critical to your security. A few seconds advance notice of a fire, dangerous carbon monoxide levels, 
or a flood could be a lifesaver. Also, under the category of alert is your pet. A vicious dog or a frightened dog when you get home can indicate a problem. Finally, through social media, there are many apps that can warn you of a crime near your home, even capturing video footage of the perpetrators. The last category of dad is defend. Whether you are a black belt in karate or simply armed with some pepper spray to defend yourself and get away, you may need to take defensive measures. Even in the best of times, calling 911 could result in a long response time, so you can't put you and your loved one's protection solely in the hands of others. Deter, alert, and defend. Remember dad. Try to name at least one system or thing on your premise for each of these letters in the acronym. If you can't, you know what part of the acronym you need to build upon. Number three, neighbors. Neighbors are a great alert system. There are people who become great friends with their neighbors, and there's some who really don't know their neighbors, and there's the rest of us that are in between. Regardless of the type of neighborhood you live in, being a part of a formal or informal neighborhood watch group can assure you are well informed of the hot spots of crime in your area. I have an account with Nextdoor.com really for only one reason, and that's just to monitor activity in my neighborhood. When crime issues happen, people tend to post about it, and it gives you the intel that's necessary to make sure your home is prepared. Knowing where the problem apartments or houses are in your area, homes where the police frequently have to visit, might be important to your overall safety. Even joining a neighborhood group on a social media platform might give you the intel on your neighborhood. Do be aware, though, that crimes have always occurred. You likely just didn't hear about them even when they happen a block over from you. Apps and social media can make it seem like crime is growing all around us, even when it's at the same steady rate it always has been. Having at least one neighbor you look out for and they look out for you can provide you with a pair of eyes watching your property when you're away. If you don't know any of your neighbors, nobody will know when something suspicious is occurring in or around your property. Take advantage of any neighborly functions like block parties or gatherings to meet at least one person, preferably one who is near vicinity to you. I always try to at least know the first names of the people living next to me, and I make a point of giving the wave hello when I see them, even if I don't have detailed knowledge of them. I'm confident that if someone strange to them was trying to access my property, they would say something or at least call the police, and hopefully the police can respond. Providing them with your phone number under the premise that if anything should ever happen, like a fire or a burglar, they can call you, can give you added eyes or ears on your property. Number four, personal defense items. You have to prepare for the fact that it just might be you defending yourself. Depending on what is legal in your state or country, brass knuckles in your nightstand, a $10 can of mace from the automotive store in your kitchen drawer, a self-defense keychain in your pocket can be enough of a defense to defend yourself against an assault. If the security of your home has been breached, you need to either neutralize a threat or diminish it enough to repel it, or you need to flee to safety yourself. My home security system has a part of the system that when tripped, emits 105 decibel siren. A siren triggered automatically or by your request can send bad guys who thrive in the shadows running, and you don't have to be at home to trigger it or for it to trigger automatically. A tactical or self-defense flashlight can easily be concealed in your car or purse, and it is equally inconspicuous beside your bed. Your familiarity of your surroundings is an advantage that you have over an intruder. Make sure that you have layers of personal defense throughout your home or apartment. At least once, go through and analyze the items in each of your rooms, as well as any weak spots where someone might gain access. What objects can be used as weapons if someone is coming through your window or door? Even in your apartment, a $5 door wedge, window lock, or swivel door lock can provide you with an added layer of security if your living room is invaded. Again, most criminals don't want to linger, especially once their presence is known. They want to commit their crime and escape undetected. The more you do to make that difficult for them, the more likely you are to survive a home invasion or break-in. So add personal defense items throughout your house. Know what you can use to defend yourself in an emergency and invest in a few window or door locks. Secure yourself. Number five, see them, but don't let them see you. Finally, one of the keys to operational security of your premises is to be able to see the threats without them seeing you. Well-placed exterior lights can cause a night blindness in anyone trying to see into your home, as well as conceal the dimmer environment within. A light placed in a window lets people outside know someone may be home while also concealing the dimmer sections of the house within. Lights can be triggered remotely on a timed schedule or through motion sensors. They can give your home an occupied feeling even when it isn't, or they can alert you to movement in your home. Quite the opposite, but also important, is the absence of light. Black curtains or blinds can conceal your presence from the outside world in dire situations where you are forced to bug in for a long period of time. Light to reveal or darkness to conceal. It all comes down to being able to see the threats to your safety before they can see you. 
Having a line of sight to the street or apartment complex hallway can provide you with the time for added preparation or warning. In truly dire situations, having the line of sight advantage can help you make a call for safety or quickly close a window before an intruder can access your premises. Make sure that any outside foliage does it provide an opportunity for criminals to hide and observe you. Use motion sensing switches and light on both the exterior and interior of your domicile. Make sure that you check them when they're tripped, especially if they're being tripped multiple times in the same night. Criminals may be testing your defenses and your alertness or trying to lure you out into danger. Use dim night lights in your house. It won't be enough for someone unfamiliar with the environment to navigate well, but it will be enough for you to see if someone enters your premises and is moving around. They will also aid you in evacuation if you're forced to flee your property. One final note on light and security. Make sure you have emergency lighting and maybe a hurricane candle on hand. There are many stories of criminals flipping the main breakers or houses in an attempt to lure the occupants out. If the power goes out, make sure you don't check it right away. And when you do, make sure you have personal defense. Also, make sure that whatever security system you do implement works for some extended period of time without the power grid. If you're alone, you may just want to wait a few hours safely within your house while the power is out. I always like to add, because I'm always surprised at how many people don't have one, make sure you have a fire extinguisher on hand as well. Defending your home doesn't just mean intruders. It also means you need to protect it from invaders like fire. Once your home or apartment is secure, consider setting up a system at your bug out location if you have one with a permanent structure. This will assure that you aren't bugging out to a less safe, compromised environment. In conclusion, you should take on the sole responsibility of your own safety and security. Remember DAD, deter, alert, and defend. If the police in your area can't make it to you in a timely manner or are required elsewhere when you need them, you can minimize that loss by taking responsibility of your own safety. If they are available, great. And take advantage of the few extra seconds or minutes you gain from a comprehensive security system to alert them of your danger. Secure your property by consciously walking through it and assessing strong and weak spots. Run a few scenarios through your mind and correct any deficiencies, from a fire extinguisher to a bedroom locking latch to a window lock and sensor to a can of mace. You can have many options to ensure your home is safe and that your time there is peaceful and uneventful when chaos or crime swirls outside. Consider an out-of-the-box, customizable technology package, but don't solely rely on that for your safety. Again, if you're interested in Simply Safe home security systems I went with, you can visit simplysafe.com forward slash city prepping to check out their setup. It will give you a huge advantage, but your complete security requires you fill in the gaps and strengthen your personal defenses and perimeters. Know your neighbors and use light and dark and technology to your advantage. If you found this video informative and helpful, please feel free to like it and share it with your friends, family, and community. If you have any additional comments or feedback, please post that in the comments section below. As always, stay safe out there.